The New Age conspiracy movement exists primarily to extract money from its gullible members. If you can make somebody believe something that patently isn't true, then it's quite easy to take their money. For example, you, you might convince them that a, a certain type of crystal can protect them from a certain type of invisible radiation. Well, then in that case, you can sell those crystals and you can make a lot of money doing so. But how do you market that product? Who brings the audience to you? Well, the answer is middlemen, useful idiots. And whenever we think of useful idiots, of course, the name Richard Vobes comes to mind because he is the idiot's idiot, one of the, the most bizarrely gullible people in the entire known universe. And, and today we're going to take another peek at how Richard Vobes operates his channel. The, the channel, I should say, he abuses to promote all kinds of conspiracy wackaloons and unsavory grifters. We're going to look at an example of precisely that today. Here is an episode in which he interviewed a pair of bizarre, bizarre people, Hope and Tivon, a pair of grifters based in Morocco, and they make and market a series of anti-EMF products. They promote the incorrect and bizarre idea that 5G and other forms of electromagnetic radiation are harmful, and the only thing you can do to protect yourself from that harmful radiation is, of course, to buy their products. A lovely couple in Morocco who are doing some amazing stuff with shungite. And I'd heard of shungite. In fact, somebody had given me some shungite soap and I'd been washing in shungite soap. Shungite, the material that Richard Vobes appears to be using in his soap, it's essentially the same thing as coal. It, it's basically carbon. It's carbon in graphite form, hence its black colour. It's kind of like coal in the sense that it is a naturally occurring metamorphic rock formed in more or less the same way. It's the result of the, the death and decay of some ancient life forms many millions of years ago that have been compressed and heated by the, the local geology and over time transformed into the, the, the black brittle material we see before us. Uh, but if the soap contains shungite powder, that is essentially the same thing as soot. It's just carbon powder. You'd think that most people with even the, the most foundational knowledge of chemistry would realize that washing yourself in soot is not a sensible thing. But with Richard Vobes, almost any kind of stupidity is possible. When I asked if you wouldn't mind coming on the show, you so generously said, look, we make some products We'd love you to have them and try them out, which um, I just want to say, so this isn't a paid promotion or anything. When Richard says that this is not a paid promotion, what I think he's trying to say is that Hope and Tivon have not paid to appear on his channel. Perhaps uh, Richard means that with some sadness because he's just not big or popular enough on YouTube that grifters will pay to appear on his channel like they might for, say, Alex Jones. But uh, that doesn't mean that Richard is a neutral reviewer of Hope and Tivon's bizarre, ludicrous conspiracy claims. Richard actually has an affiliate marketing link to Fix the World Morocco, and that is Hope and Tivon's website where they sell their bizarre EMF protection products. So this is marketing. Richard is marketing their stuff. Richard is attempting to monetize his gullible audience of credulous nitwits by selling these bizarre products to them. And that's a very valuable kind of audience, because if you can convince these people that Richard is a genius and that 5G is dangerous, then you can monetize them in all kinds of profitable ways. Somebody gave me some shungite and they said it was from a, it's from a meteorite that yeah. crashed in, in Russia. That, and so that's all I uh, knew. And my girlfriend, Julia, said, oh, if it's not from the planet, then is it good for the biosphere? So it's hard to say what's most remarkable about that little anecdote we just heard. Uh, first of all, Julia is wrong about the origins of shungite. As I've said before, it is a metamorphic mineral. It is formed by an entirely natural process taking many millions of years. It's basically fancy coal. But did you see how 
Hope and Tivon all nodded in agreement and, and grinned at uh, Richard's ridiculous pronouncement where he recited his girlfriend's idiotic confusion. They all agreed that shungite was an ultra-rare compound born of a meteorite collision. It, it, it isn't. But if they're prepared to lie about this, that this subject that they're claiming to be an expert in, well, I wonder what else they're lying about. Yes, we started because we ourselves are very, very sensitive to the dirty electricity, the electromagnetic frequencies in the environment. Hope's friend, uh, Hope's mother, <laughs> uh, gave me a sample of something that she picked up from someone talking about a sleeping aid. And she gave this to me and said, well, you know, nothing else has worked. Why don't you try this? And at the time, I was very skeptical. Tibon should have been very skeptical, least of all because he appears to have become confused as to whether the original device he was given was donated by Hope's mother or Hope's friend. Uh, pe perhaps he was so overwhelmed by the generosity of this difficult to identify woman that uh, her face and memory became a blank in his mind. Th this mind that apparently is so full of rational skepticism. He's something like Scully from the X-Files, a, a scientist who is desperate to get to the bottom of this bizarre scientific mystery that he has just found himself in. After he had that great night's sleep, he started digging into the science behind yes. it. Yeah. He's like, why does this work? Why does this work? That's the question that Tivon allegedly asked for himself as he set about on this epic voyage of scientific inquiry into the exciting and wonderful world of Shungite. But um, maybe there were some other questions that he ought to have asked for himself first, such as, um, how could this possibly work? Or even the most fundamental question of all, does this work? And I think we can save Tivon a little bit of time in that line of inquiry, because we know for sure that this product does not work. And that is not based on a careful analysis of its components and parts, or even a, a deep dive into the theoretical basis of how this thing allegedly works. No, the reason why we know this product does not work is because of the way it's being sold. It's being marketed on the Richard Vobes show, which, as we have previously established, is a forum by which uh, charlatans and conmen can promote products that do not work to an audience of uneducated, gullible nitwits for whom the, even the, the most basic principles of natural science are beyond their grasp. And if you have such an audience captive, then you can sell all kinds of ridiculous, non-functional products, and they will almost certainly lap it up. If you have maybe some crystals that you think will heal people, these people will buy it. In fact, you don't need to have a particularly sophisticated sales pattern to cut through to this kind of people, as we'll see in um, Tivon's rather pathetic attempt to pitch his products direct to consumer. An organite charge plate is made from organic material that is able to take the stray fields from the environment and turn it into healthy, harmless energy. Shungite is a mineral found in Karelia, Russia. It's only found in one place in the world. Shungite is also made from 98% carbon. Shungite is carbon. It's just a naturally occurring mineral that is almost entirely carbon. And carbon is a very commonly occurring mineral on this planet. So there is really nothing at all unremarkable about the mineral. However, Tivon's claims are really wild. He claims that this abundant mineral can transform radiation, stray radiation, into healthy fields. It's a truly bizarre concoction that could only come from the, the delirious minds of a true ignoramus. Because it's energy, it can be changed because of, the, I guess, the frequency of the energy. Is that what you're saying? But if you're able to change the frequency, you can turn it from being a bad thing to a good thing. Exactly. 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 I, I just want to emphasize that because that's something I think that the penny just dropped there with me. If a penny had been dropped from a very tall building, thus connecting with Richard Vobe's bold head and knocking him unconscious, 
I, I think he would have been a little bit more sensible than he was just then. Richard claims that he's had some kind of moment of realization that, that this device is transforming unsafe energy from 5G mobile phones or, or whatever it is that um, Hope believes that she's uh, allergic to and transforming it into benign healthy radiation that uh, presumably boosts his body's chakras or uh, works with uh, his body's natural energy field. Whatever the hell that means. It, these are all nonsensical words spoken by people who know not of what they are speaking. Uh, and did you see the way that Hope and Tivon just nod along in approval? It, Richard Vobes loves to surround himself by sycophants who egg him on and confirm that his ridiculously incorrect twaddle is in fact the words of a genius. We all know from watching Richard, Hope and Yvonne, they are all morons playing at being scientists. So when you mix all those ingredients together, the iron oxide, the steel, the brass, the quartz crystal, um, all of that together into the epoxy resin. So when this happens, this causes something known as the piezoelectric effect. And what that does is it emits a harmonizing field. It's in this field that transforms the harmful energy from EMFs into healthy life-preserving energy. The piezoelectric effect is a real thing. It's the mechanical property of certain crystals when compressed, they generate a, a small electrical potential across them. It, it's a real phenomena, but it has absolutely nothing to do with the deranged fantasy that Hope appears to be concocting. Uh, th this notion that uh, a puck of some kind of resin plus minerals can create a, a field that transforms harmful radiation into benign. That just doesn't exist. And if it did exist, well, I'm sure there would be all kinds of scientific prizes available to its inventors. It does not, it will not, and it cannot exist. It is purest nonsense. Did you catch the ingredients, though, in this bizarre puck of resin? Iron and iron oxide. Quartz crystal. I assume she means sand various metals, and shungite powder, this mystical soot powder that Hope and Tivon, and now Richard Vobes believes, have these almost magical powers. All the carbon molecules coming together in this mineral. Well, shungite is a natural source of these. And again, it's only found in one place on the planet, so it's, it's, it's very rare. Now, the Russians have been looking at this mineral for a long time, over 150 years worth of study on what this mineral can do. New Age conspiracy grifters seem to love Russian scientists. There's almost nothing that you could say a Russian scientist invented that they wouldn't believe. Uh, if, if I told New Age conspiracy grifters that uh, Russian scientists have invented time travel and a faster-than-light propulsion mechanism, I I'm sure they would believe it. Uh, Sasha Stone, famously claimed that his 5G bioshield had been invented by Russian scientists in partnership with um, some kind of ethereal alien presence, a, a sort of um, alien intelligence that manifested itself in the Russian research laboratory. And, and despite the fact that that claim was clearly ridiculous, Sasha Stone's audience just lapped it up. There's almost nothing you could claim that a Russian researcher invented that they would not believe. It's also been used for nuclear re remediation. It can take radioisotopes, the radioactive material, trap it within its fullerene, and basically that uh, radioactive isotope would decay, would just Disappears. eventually... Hope and Tivon are trying to make Richard Vobe's gullible nitwit audience believe that shungite powder, which, as we have previously established, is really nothing but soot, has the magical power to transform even radioactive waste into something completely benign because it contains fullerenes. Uh, as we may know, fullerenes are an allotrope of carbon discovered in the mid-80s that have um, sometimes 60 carbon atoms arranged in a spherical construction, uh, like a little ball. They want us to believe that these balls can somehow absorb radioactive substances almost like a, a white blood cell devouring a, a foreign particle inside of our bodies, and then neutralize that radioactive substance. 
It sounds like science fiction because it is. It's pure nonsense concocted from a fevered mind of an uneducated pair of conspiracy wackaloon charlatans. But if you can make people believe obviously false things, and even not obviously false things, then you have the power to sell them stuff. And now we come to the entire point of this farrago of twaddle. This is the stuff that Hope and Tivon are hoping to sell. Let's start with our number one bestseller, which is that sleeping pod that we were talking about. Right, which which is this one here. Yeah. I personally like to hold mine in my hand and hold it right up against my chest because that's where a lot of that anxiety would come in when you're trying to fall asleep and you, you start to get the monkey mind and maybe... I suspect that the reason why Hope has these regular panic attacks has nothing to do with the fact that she has misplaced her organite shungite pendant and perhaps everything to do with the fact that she knows that she is a professional charlatan. She knows that she makes her money by conning people, by promoting this ridiculous pseudoscientific theory based entirely on lies that she and Tivon have concocted. They make their money by selling false dreams to people who know no better. But sooner or later, those lies will catch up with them. Sooner or later, somebody will come back to them, demand their money back, or maybe a, a more bitter form of revenge. If she has the smallest amount of sense, she may realize that uh, she is setting herself up for some pretty bad karma. At least if, if I was in that situation, I think I would be panicking every night, knowing that was the life I had created for myself. At the very least, maybe people will start to become skeptical in the face of Hope and Tivon's absolute nonsense claims. If people look at these and they think, how do I know it works? Uh, to a degree, there's a bit of a leap of faith, isn't there? Knowing that this is actually um, radiating out a natural element. It's not man-made. Well, it's man-made in the way that you've put it into something. Do you find that there is scepticism? I suppose that's the question I'm getting to. Hope and Tivon are the Mulder and Scully of the Shungite hard cell. That means Hope is the, um, the, the one who wants to believe, and uh, Tivon is the, the rational skeptic who has been forced into believing by the sheer weight of evidence. Uh, that's at least how they would like to present themselves. I, you know what? I'm a little bit miffed that um, Tivon has earned his skeptic wings so easily. I, I'd like to consider myself to be a bit of a skeptic as well, but it's a bit of a, a pain that I have never once been approached by any of the, the major skeptic podcasts uh, and to be invited onto any of their, their panel shows. I Take, for example, Manchester Skeptics with Michael Marshall. I think they're brilliant, but I don't even think they know who I am. I, I can be skeptical. For example, um, homeopathy, hey? Ah, it's just fancy water. Bleach? Don't drink it. Uh, or what about this one? Um, evolution versus creation? Ah, you must be joking. We all evolved. You see, I'm a real skeptic. Tivon is not a real skeptic. Right? He believes in uh, th the power of shungite and organite to, to heal people. And that is not the sort of thing that somebody who would be invited onto uh, Manchester skeptics would actually believe. Uh, absolutely, because uh, I had that skepticism in the beginning. Do you see what I mean? You see, this is infuriating. He has now taken on the mantle of the arch skeptic. He, he claims to be the side. I, I'm 10 times more skeptical than you, Tivon, right? You know what? I'm, I'm thinking of going to QED Con in Manchester this year, where um, Sabina Hoff Hossenfelder, you know, the, the German physicist lady, she is presenting a, a, a keynote speech. And Sabina, she thinks that um, 5G is going to make uh, aircraft crash. In fact, MC Toon did a brilliant takedown uh, about uh, Sabina's bonkers theories about three years ago. And I'm proud to say that I, I helped him write some of that episode, right? But I'm gonna say Sabina is 10 times more skeptical than Tivon, and I am 10 times more skeptical than Sabina. And yet, the uh, QED con have not invited me to give a keynote speech. 
where's the justice in that? Oh, well, I did say that we, we don't live in a world of peace, tranquility and fairness because there are people like Richard Vobes and Hope and Tivon who are all making our world far more toxic with their bizarre toxic sludge based organite pucks. And at the time, for me, it was a sample of something made out of aluminum shavings. Uh, it wasn't powders. That field is passively emanating from all of our stuff permanently. There's, you don't have to recharge it. You don't have to replace it. It doesn't diminish over time. Um, it's just a natural technology that creates this field that cleans the energy around you. I think Hope and Tivon are two of the least effective liars in the whole of the, the, the new age conspiracy grifting world. They don't even seem to be convincing themselves. Uh, and at times I wonder if even Richard Vobes is entirely on their wavelength. But I don't think this was ever about trying to, to expose truths, even in the, the fruity little minds of the trio we've seen today. This was always just about selling a product. And, and this was always marketing. That's what the Richard Vobes show is. It exists to find a captive audience so that charlatans and wackaloons can sell their product to the, perhaps the dumbest people on earth. If you are somebody who regularly watches the Richard Vobes show in any sense other than, than, than hate watching him to, to discover the, the ridiculous nonsense that he will come out with next. If you're anybody other than that, then you are the dumbest person on earth. And I have the most contempt for you. In fact, if you are somebody who watches the Richard Vobes show and thinks that it is good, then you are even worse than Richard Vobes. Because as Obi-Wan once said, who is the worst person, the fool or the fool who follows the fool? Ah, oh, well, um, I will leave you on that joyous note. Uh, it is still mid vobes timber, and I promise you there will be more Richard Vobes before this sacred month is out. So please stay tuned, please subscribe, please leave your comments, uh, and if your comment is funny, I promise to reply to it. Uh, but don't try too hard to be funny, because um, people who try too hard are often not funny. It's the strange dilemma of humour, isn't it? I will see you in a week's time. Please, please, please subscribe, like and comment.